The purpose of being here is that we're working together to set up simulated crime scenes, which are up in a porter cabin, which is just up at the top of the site. Um, and what we are um, envisaging or trying to do with that, um, that setup is to create a virtual reality representation of that scene. So our team from the university um, has created a new way of imaging, of taking pictures within these scenes, such that we can then use those images to create a virtual reality environment. So part of what we're doing here today is um, uh, capturing those images um, so that we can turn it into virtual reality. The groundbreaking element of how we're doing the virtual reality scene representation is that it's, uh, it's of a real place. It's not a gamified scene. It's a scene that's a real thing. So, so we're, we're taking that real um, scenario and real um, uh, environment and putting it into virtual reality. And what that allows us to do is to create training tools for uh, fire investigators or for um, other types of crime scene investigators, but it also allows us to do proficiency testing, so testing the competence of those investigators to be able to do their job. So within the university, we use the virtual reality work as um, a research project to enable us to understand how people interact with crime scenes, what do they look at, how do they move about in those scenes, so that we can do better training for practitioners in the future. For our, our colleagues in the different operational agencies, it gives them an opportunity to train people without having to set a fire scene each time they do it. Um, and also it gives them real experience at using new tools and new technology in a way that's going to be operationally relevant and um, so that we can look towards moving that technology into practice in the future.